Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, which is an eyebrow tutorial. I've actually updated the products I use, so I just figured why not just show you guys what's going on in the brow department. So before I was using the Precision Brow Pencil by NYX or NYX, I say NYX, but NYX and NYX. <laughs> now I have actually changed over to Morphe. Morphe, this is the to find a brow pencil in the shade, ooh, what shade is this? Chocolate Mousse. Let me actually tell you why I think this is better than the NYX pencil. On one side, you've got this little spoolie, which is really useful for doing your brows. And the actual pencil is in a triangular shape. I don't know if you're catching it. That's what really had me sold. So you really get those hair-like strokes when applying because it is, angled on three sides it's a nice shade of brown the brown really suits my skin and my hairs so i just figured i might as well switch over and it's two pounds cheaper than the nyx pencil that's enough on the pencil let me actually show you guys how i use it so to begin i'll be applying some setting powder to the area just to soak up any oils or any shine that would affect how the brow applies to my skin so you're going to go over with the spoolie, brush the hairs upwards and then brush them into place across just so that you can apply the product evenly through the eyebrow. And now I'm applying the brow pencil in hair like strokes. You can see that the way I'm doing it mimics the direction in which my hair grows. So after I start a bit closer to the beginning of the brow, I then underline the brow and draw the hairline strokes throughout the brow you don't want to colour in the brow because it just looks fake and blocky and chunky. Brows have a depth to them that looks natural. And just see the difference it makes. And the same goes for the other side. And it's important to look at your mirror, check the brows just to make sure everything matches. I believe that brows are sisters, if not twins. We can't have them looking like cousins or stepsisters. We need them to look like sisters or twins. Twins would be amazing, but sisters, I don't mind. Before I draw my brows, before I do my makeup, but now I figured that it makes more sense to draw the brows after because when you do it before, you might move some product, you might lose some with your base being applied on top. Now I'm just using the spoolie to soften the beginning of the eyebrow. And to highlight my brow bone, I'll be using my Conceal and Define Concealer from Makeup Revolution in C12 and an angled brush. I start off in the middle of the brow so that there's not too much product at the beginning of the brow and then I drag this product forward and throughout the brow so I just underline and then I drag the product down so I'm just going over that highlight that I did just to clean up the brow and get it looking extra crisp and you can see that my brows kind of go upwards in my face it's really important to know which brow shape works for your face I like having a raised end to my eyebrows because I think it gives me like a fake facelift type look and just compare the brows, the cleaned up one and the basic brow. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Start off by highlighting in the middle of the brow so you don't have too much product at the front of the eyebrow and then just blend downwards. So you can see the effect this has, it really helps the eyebrow stand out, it adds dimension to the face. Take 
now i'm just going over the nose contour that might have been disrupted when highlighting the brow and also bringing this into the eyebrow because our brow bone does connect to our nasal area i believe i'm making up the science but i think it does Now I'm highlighting the brow bone with an eyeshadow from Kiko. I can't remember the name, so I'll add this in the description bar. It just adds dimension and makes things look lifted and makes them pop a bit more. So look at that. It's just the brows are really standing out and I am happy. And that, guys, is my updated eyebrow tutorial. If there's anything I didn't cover, please drop me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning into this video. See you next time. Bye.